Hello everyone and welcome to English Manisa. In this video we are going to discuss the Postmaster by Rabindranath Tagore. So in this beautiful tale we are going to explore the key themes like human connection, loneliness and unreciprocated affection. So the Postmaster is one of Rabindranath Tagore's most well-known short stories which is set in rural Bengal. It reflects the isolation of individuals and the pain of unfulfilled attachments. The story also explores the emotions of love, loneliness and the yearning for human connection. Before moving further, let us know about the author Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore was a towering figure in world literature. He often described as a polymath. He was a poet, novelist, short story writer, philosopher, painter and a composer. He was born in Bengal, India. Rabindranath Tagore became the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913, primarily for his collection of poems Gitanjali. His works usually reflect his deep concern with humanism, naturalism and spirituality. Tagore's writings addresses a range of subjects which includes the beauty of nature, the complexity of human emotions and the importance of freedom, both personal and national. Let's begin the story of the Postmaster. The postmaster is set in the rural village of Vilapur, Bengal, where a young man from Kolkata is posted as the village postmaster. The village is small with a factory nearby and the post office is located in a small hut. So the protagonist, the postmaster, he feels out of place in this remote village which is far from the city life. So he leads a lonely and monotonous existence who is missing intellectual conversation and the comforts of home. The only company the postmaster has is Ratan, a simple village girl and orphan, who helps him with household chores like cooking and cleaning in return of food. Ratan, she was an affectionate and eager girl who craves attention and care. The postmaster occasionally talks with her and during their free time, he teaches her how to read and write. These interactions become meaningful for Ratan and she grows emotionally attached to him, seeing him almost as a father figure. Now the rainy season begins, further deepening the postmaster's sense of isolation and loneliness. The constant rain and gloomy weather confine him even more to the small post office and make him feel trapped in the rural setting. So he begins to learn even more intensely for his home and the city life he left behind. Now, during the rainy season, the postmaster falls ill, case of him with a great dedication and sincerity, which reflecting her growing emotional bond with him. Her attention and care bring some comfort to the postmaster, but his feelings towards her remain detached. After recovering from his illness, the postmaster becomes even more disillusioned with life in the village. Then he decided that he can no longer stay in Yulapur and requests a transfer back to Kolkata. When Ratan learns that he is leaving, she is devastated. Then in her innocent hope, she asks postmaster if she can go with him to the city. But the postmaster quickly dismisses the idea, explaining that such a thing is impossible. For Postmaster, his relationship with Ratan was always temporary and transactional, while for Ratan, it had developed into a significant emotional bond. Then the Postmaster tries to offer her words of comfort, saying that separation are a natural part of life and that she will find someone else to care for her. However, these words do little to soothe Ratan's heartbreak. Then the postmaster leaves without giving much thought to her feelings, though he briefly reflects on the sorrow of parting. Meanwhile, Ratan, who had poured her heart into the relationship, is left behind broken-hearted and abandoned. She holds on to the hope that the postmaster might return. So the story concludes with Ratan waiting in vain, which highlights the pain of unfulfilled expectation and the harsh reality of unequal emotional bonds. So the main themes of the postmaster focuses on loneliness, unrequited affection and emotional detachment. 
the postmaster feels isolated in the village who is longing for connection but unable to form any meaningful ones ratan who was the village girl who develops a deep attachment to him but he does not feel the same way this highlight how people's emotional worlds can be vastly different especially when divided by social class so the story reflects the fleeting and often unequal nature of human relationships where one person's feeling are not always written so in the postmaster tiger explores the complexity of human emotions especially the pain of unreciprocated affection the postmaster leaves the village without looking back while ratan is left to cope with the heartbreak of being abandoned by the only person who showed her any kindness so the story ends on a melancholic note showing that life often involves separation and not all relationships are meant to last so tiger leaves the reader with a poignant reflection on human connections where emotional bonds are sometimes formed and broken without any closure and also the story critic how people often overlook the emotional needs of those beneath them in social status treating their feelings as inconsequential which is poignantly demonstrated through ratan's tragic emotional loss in this story tribunal tagore masterfully captures the emotional intensity of rural life and the profound disconnect between individuals from different worlds so this is all for today's video the postmaster by rabindranath tagore i hope it would be helpful for you stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching